Uh, hello, everyone. Uh, this is going to be my review of uh, the G Boom by G Project, um, and this will will show on Amazon. I'm doing it primarily for Amazon right now, but also we'll put it on YouTube as well. So uh, to start off, here is the the unit, Bluetooth unit. Looks nice. It's extremely sturdy. Uh, they actually say that you can use this as a chair uh, if you're out and you need to take a seat we'll just sit on it and I almost believe that I mean it's pretty rock solid and I don't hear any kind of rattling from it whatsoever uh, you've got about a uh, an inch and a half or so uh, uh, cover all the way around the base of this thing there's no uh, uh, like any kind of slit in it uh, or anything that will uh, allow uh, any kind of moisture possibly at the beach for sand or or uh, whatever on it and also the back which I really love this the, the ports they cover and if we flip that open uh, we'll find a uh, uh, a power port a DC in port and uh, that is one thing that I don't uh, like about it too much is uh, you've got this you have to plug it into the wall for this now I use power banks uh, a lot to, to charge things and I've had uh, other Bluetooth speakers that use the uh, micro uh, USB which uh, is pretty much almost a standard now it seems like uh, but you can charge your uh, Android devices with it and uh, it would be nice if, if this had that also so that you can just kind of carry a universal charger with you somewhere instead of having to drag along something that you could possibly leave behind and then where would you be now if they have an adapter for this uh, for uh, uh, power banks well that would be okay too because you can put those like in a pouch and have a bunch of uh, little adapters for it but anyway uh, you'll find also a USB port now that is for charging a device now we talk about charging a device with a speaker that has a six hour battery life I don't really uh see that as being a good thing because right now and in, in, in where we're at it you know you you can buy 16 hour 20 hour batteries or excuse me speakers speaker life of a, a 16 or 20 hours instead of six this is kind of on the low side to me to, to have a port on the back to charge a device um Obviously, I, I would be at a beach or a picnic or whatever. Hey, my phone's dying. Uh, well, let me suck even more life out of this and reduce my play time down to, you know, four or five hours to charge my phone. I guess that's okay. But uh, if they come out with a second generation of this, uh, I would hope they would incorporate that 16 to 20 hour battery life because uh, power banks are getting extremely cheaper than what, what they were, uh, I guess, when this was... Uh, uh, manufacturer made last year at some point it could have been the end of 2012 but I know that the end of last year and this year power banks have just started dropping in price for large I'm talking about charge my cell phone four or five times cost me 20 bucks so uh, it's, it would be doable for a second generation for for this and then also you have an audio line in and that's for your uh, aux cable or whatever your auxiliary cable three Point five millimeter, I think it is uh, that you can, uh, if you have an MP3 player, or whatever that's not Bluetooth, uh, you can use with that. And you also have a, a hard reset button, also right around up in there. So if you do want to see the ports, let me see if I can uh, zoom this puppy in for you, and uh, and that's as good as it's going to get. And let's see if you can see for yourself of course it's nothing special pretty much what I told you be, would be sufficient uh, so let me go back out center that up all right and uh, let's uh, since we're talking about the back uh, I love the the ports in the back now I put this thing uh, up against the wall like a, a foot or two two feet away from a wall on a table and the sound will fill up a room I mean it is ridiculous how how much uh, sound that you can get out of this thing I mean it, it 
to me, on a good note about this, is it is a direct uh, contender with bows, uh, jam box, beats. Uh, I don't think I missed any any other big dogs out right now. Uh, but they're three or four hundred bucks for the same size. Now this is about a medium size, I would say. It's definitely not a small. Uh, I don't have a small around me, but a small one is to me is like five inches, five by two by two, or something like that. Then you move up into your medium class, which will fill a room, and then you move up to the ginormous size, which is uh, to me beyond what you would need if you're going to go to that size and spend that kind of money get a wi-fi direct uh if you really want a rich and true sound wi-fi direct is the way to go your high ends uh offer wi-fi direct and some along with bluetooth wi-fi direct so that would be a uh if you're looking for if you're audiophile and you want that uh clarity and that awesomeness uh you will get that wi-fi direct now that market has not kicked off as uh, fast and as strong as the Bluetooth market, and I think it has something to do with it's probably uh, abundant. Uh, there's more of uh, your uh, lower class uh, cell phones out there and Bluetooth devices for streaming that uh, they may not have that Wi-Fi direct option. So it is good to have uh, Bluetooth uh, readily available and but there's like a million products with it though. So let's comb through some of these and get to the good ones. And that's where we're at right now. We're at an awesome speaker. So now we're going to go to the sides of this thing. And you see uh, uh, places to put a strap. And you have them on both both sides. Now it does not come with a strap. That is fine for me. Uh, at the price point this thing sells at, the $99 price, I'm fine without a strap. All right, when we get to the top, we have a really awesome handle. I love the way this thing is made. I love the design of it. I read somewhere where it got ding for a design. I mean, this is different than anything that's out, and the sound is awesome. And, you know, they, they mentioned the chair thing, and the, that falls right into the design and the capabilities to use it for that. And it, it is really well made. I mean, I, I can turn this thing all the way up and be cranking out solid bass. And it will not move, period. I mean, it's got good heft to it. So let's go to the top, walk you through some of the buttons here. You have your power, and then you have your Bluetooth for pairing. And now you have an EQ, uh, back, uh, rewind, or uh, reverse track, uh, play, uh, skip forward, volume minus, and volume plus for your up and down volume. Now, talk about the EQ. Now it's got flat, rock, and pop. So, and how you know this is you press, okay, I got two, two, when I press that, this light, this white light will blink. And I pushed it already and it blinked twice. Now when it blinks twice, that means rock. All right, three times is, is pop, and one time is flat. So flat is, is pretty much like on some of the re reviews, and I think that's a uh, question and answer in there in the Amazon stuff that, uh, flat is pretty much no EQ, and uh, then you got uh, your rock and pop. Now they uh, call that, uh, you got three equalizer presets, this is from their website. You got powerful, deep, or extra bright. Uh, so I, I'm assuming powerful is flat, deep is rock, extra bright is the pop, because it does get, get bright. Um, so, uh, let's see what else is there to talk about. I think you can see the speakers in there. You see the two tweeters up here, and then your uh, larger speakers here. Uh, let's get into the talk about that here. It says uh, you get 2.2 speaker configuration and four drivers, uh, dual ports, and max audio allowing it to pump out big sound and your full bass. And you do really get a full, rich bass. And it's almost perfect. You're You're kind of like... It's not too much bass, uh, and you're like it's not lacking. So they've definitely got that. And the 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 highs, I, I could stand for it to be a touch bit brighter, but really it kind of blends together. And right when you're thinking, oh, I wish it would be a little bit lighter, it hits that light note right when it should. So it has a lot to do with the music you're listening to. 
also don't uh, judge too quickly on it until you play through a lot of different genres of music and then you can really see uh, the work that it's doing and in the different uh, things it's hitting on there but the lights we'll talk about that all right this is kind of you cut it on that your white light will come on and this will start blinking ready to pair the blue one will start blinking and also like I said with the EQ earlier the uh, white one uh, will uh, blink uh, once twice or three times for your EQ and this is a battery indicator the red one now it's blinking I guess because if, if I'm right it's uh, uh, blinking due to the battery is starting to drain and I think it will remain constant or maybe blink faster or something like that I don't really remember but um, so that covers that and and now I want to try to play through this so you can hear if there's any kind of distortion and we'll do different genres of music uh, I should have already had this pull, pulled up so I'm sorry about that let me uh, uh, get this up here and what I'm going to use is the audio library from YouTube that way I can post this on uh, Amazon and YouTube uh, and they won't ding me for playing music that you know so we'll play some stuff that you have no idea what in the world is but uh, let's go to genre and we'll do I don't know we'll do some classical first and it's like uh, let's see what this is make sure my EQ set this will be flat EQ right here starting out Those are real highs. Go to rock. Pop. A little brighter. Back to flat. We'll stop that and go to another genre. Hear that? Buzz. I'm getting that that uh, buzz and, and you can really hear it sometimes I don't know what's up with that uh, for sure um, but hopefully I'm gonna email them and try to get that sorted out and fixed and hopefully they can maybe fix that or tell me something else and I've tried that was all uh, I was making sure hey is it not my phone is it my computer I'm coming off my computer right now with this Bluetooth and it does it with everything and then it will fade out and stop it's kind of annoying, but once the music starts, you don't hear it. But when it stops, you do. Um, so I mean, that could that might be something you need to know or look for when you when you get it. And it could be just be mine. But if you already got it and it does it with yours, just let let me know. Leave a comment because I'm curious if it's uh if it's just mine or something. Uh, everybody loves a little country and folk. Well, let's do a little song here. <laughs> hear it boop stops all right we'll go to some dance maybe we can get some uh, some dub stuff up in here try that it'll be uh, starting to flat <laughs> Flat. 
course, we'll do uh, one rock, and then I'll do a uh, uh, hip hop or something song. Let's see here. Try this guy. This is flat. Thank you. I actually go to the rock. If you want to know the volume level that I have that, it's pretty loud, uh, just so you know. Because I'm trying to see if it will distort uh, through the different sounds. It did good. We'll do this. This is a flat issue. That's a good uh, going through sound test, I believe. I hit every sort of genre, or enough anyway. But uh, for the money, I would say that my final conclusion for this product is for the money, it is definitely worth uh, the price. It's a direct contender with the big the big boys in the game that want to charge three and 400 bucks. Uh, I think it's better, or excuse me, it's on the same level as those. Uh, for a third and a quarter of the price, depending on what product you're comparing it to. Uh, it is definitely a must-have, I think. It's because if you put it on the back porch, after bedtime, you're going to run the neighbors out. Uh, they're going to be calling the police. If you've got it cranked up halfway, probably three-quarters of the way. And I, I've never had the thing at full volume maxed out. Uh, and it's been plenty loud. Everybody I've heard, I've told everybody about this product i've gone completely out of my way to make sure that this company will continue to make products with realistic price points to them and that's what i like about this there's no sense in charging three or four hundred bucks for a product that is bluetooth yeah i've got a rule of thumb i've heard it from a cnet editor he said back in 2012 i remember it do not pay over 100 dollars for a bluetooth speaker uh, they're in limited in what they can do quality wise and it's ever changing so uh, if you're gonna spend your money you know your Wi-Fi directs and stuff your higher ends I've got a pioneer uh, that's Wi-Fi direct and it is I mean you can really tell a difference between Bluetooth as much as they try to to mimic what what you can carry the data you can carry through there Wi-Fi wi wi direct and get that rich uh, true sound it's not it's not there so uh, just remember that. Don't spend over 100 bucks for a, a Bluetooth speaker. And this is the absolute uh, best for me, uh, best for anybody, I think. And it's at right at my price limit. And the good thing is it does not have to be on sale for me to be content with buying it. If they kept it 99 bucks at every single store, I know how much it's going to be when I go to the store. Don't put, don't put it on sale. Leave it at 99 bucks. And that's the the standard for this brand. I mean, for this uh, model, you know, it's ninety nine bucks. You know it. Something happens to mine. Well, I'm going to go to Walmart, Target, uh, wherever, and I know it's ninety nine bucks. And I am cool with that because it it is worth every penny. And I hope on Generation Two, they will uh, at least. I don't know if this is splash proof on the front. Now this bottoms here is is awesome for the beach. Now I want to know if this is. Is, is splash proof not waterproof because it puts it into a different price point but splash proof if it's not generation two uh leave the design love the design but generation two leave you know make this uh splash proof keep keep these ports covered i have to buy i cover all my ports on stuff when i go outside and it you know this is this is great it needs this here you know you got a, a good enough thick pad on the bottom that you know it's a inch and a half or so that's perfect, uh, but 
the splash proof thing would be an awesome addition your battery life improvement to me would justify having a portal on the back to charge your device even though i have had this a month by the way and i i've been able to get uh, uh upwards to eight or nine hours out of it at uh not a high volume and you know and it suited my needs i mean yeah I've, I've had to charge it but it's not a mini sound brick that's gonna last 10 or 12 hours it's pumping out a lot of power and i'm sure it's consuming a lot of battery but uh where we're at right now with speakers to me generation two could improve battery life uh should and in a sp splash proof front would be an awesome addition but i absolutely love it uh, hands down the best I'm going to go ahead and call it I just found out about this speaker after the beginning of the year but hands down 2014 best speaker I'm going to go ahead and call that for the MSRP price the 99 bucks I'm not talking about stuff that goes on sale but $99 buy it anywhere price the best of 2014 and since it came out last year I think it is the best of 2013 also so to me two years running on the same generation speaker is awesome uh they've really got something going but if they do make the improvements that uh, i think is there they can leave it leave it alone like it is and make a generation two knock generation one down to 80 bucks but do not go over the hundred dollar price point or you will more than likely fade away because other competitors are right there they're in there close enough because whenever i see 99 bucks it's different than seeing a hundred bucks. I don't know why it is. Nineteen ninety nine. Hey, it's twenty bucks. But if it's got a teen in it, I'll buy it versus something that's twenty dollars. And in your mind, I don't know why that is. I mean, that's just the the way it is. So, good job, G Project, uh, with the G Boom. It is awesome, and I look forward to maybe checking out some more products if you got that you guys have. Uh, I don't know. We'll see. But thanks a lot, people of Earth. Like and subscribe to me and follow me on uh, Instagram and Twitter uh, at Isaiah746 please oh hey sorry hey didn't mean to scare you hey hey hey